that you have stepped into a new season and are not even realizing that it happened. And the first one is when the best people left you. Moses for Joshua was not only his role model, it was his crush. Yeah. It was his mentor. Yeah. It was the one that Joshua didn't see his future without. Moses represented the best that Israel has ever had. And God comes to Joshua and says, Now that I've removed Moses, it's your season and it's your time to step into the promised land. The things you carried for 40 years in the wilderness, the things you had as a baby in Egypt, now is the time when I finally took Moses out of circulation. When I took Moses out, but now he is dead, you are ready to step in. But see, most of us will make Moses' death as a sign that God left us. Most of us will make the sign that when somebody leaves us as a sign that God has abandoned us. But in reality, God's proving is not God's punishment, it is God's preparation. Somebody give us some praise right now. One of the ways that you know God is preparing you for a new season and it's when He begins to remove the scaffolding out. Many people in their life are there for a reason, some are for a season. And there's only few people that will stay for a lifetime. God will bring people into your life that will take you from point A to point B. And when they have served the purpose, God will take the scaffolding down. Why? Because you have stepped into your Canaan. That's why some of you are crying right now and you say, why did they leave? Cry a river, build a bridge and get over it. Because it is your season. It is your time. And God has been preparing you. And God has been setting you apart. God has been giving you dreams. God has been giving you promises. God has been giving you prophetic words. And this is the time, says the Lord. Now arise, Joshua. Now arise, Gideon, and advance. Your army shrunk. Therefore advance, not retreat. Yeah. Your best days are still ahead of you. Even if your best people left you. Jesus said, you can't conquer the world, he told his disciples, until I leave. Even Jesus had to leave his disciples for them to step into really what God called them to do. Do not think for a moment you can step into a new season with the same people from the previous one. That's why some of you people fight you. Because God is preparing you. Don't fight back. Move forward. This is the year that you're going to move forward. This is the year that you will conquer new territories for God. This is the year that you will step into something that you have never seen before. Things you only dreamed of. In Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? The second sign that a shift is taking place already in your life is when God takes manna off of the menu. What does that mean? It's when what used to be God's miracle stops. And it seems at first, what did I do wrong? Why did I lose my job? Why did I lose a career? Why did I get laid off? My business was God's manna. That job was God's answer. Why did it stop? I thought in the promised land, in the new season, manna will increase. Now stop. I thought manna will increase, not cease. Manna was not God's promise. It was God's provision to get you to the promise. God's promise has always been milk and honey. But you got used to manna because it paid the bills. You got used to manna because it gave you nine to five. You got used to manna because it temporarily provided for your needs. But God's promise has always been milk and honey. He says, I will give you life and life more abundantly. He says that He gives power to the world. He is the God of more than enough, not just the God of enough. But He 
will give us manna in the wilderness so he can prepare us for the promised land. I know some of you say, wow, well, I did not know that was a prosperity preacher. I'm not a prosperity preacher. I am a kingdom preacher. My God is the king of kings and royal lords. My God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. My God is the one who provides. My God is the one who supplies. My God is the one that supernaturally gives and provisions. But he also opens the floodgates of heaven. He opens the doors of opportunities. And he promises the inner promised land that is milk and that is honey. At the same time, my manna stops. God left me. What did I do wrong? I have a demon of stagnation, limitation. Pastor, deliver me. Maybe it's not a demon. Maybe it's your destiny. It can't be destiny, Master. It can't be destiny. I don't have manna. And I don't have milk and honey. I'm stuck in between. But the fact that man has stopped means something changed. You don't even realize it yet. Something shifted. And for some of us, there has been a shift that took place during COVID. There is a shift that some of you are feeling right now. And maybe, and my message today, I'm just a UPS guy. The guy with the brown shorts. I'm not any special. It's what I'm bringing that's special. It's the package that's special. So if you don't like my accent, if you don't like my English, if you don't like my appearance, I am not offended at all. Because it is the package that I'm bringing to you today. And the package is the word of the Lord says to you that God is ready. God is ready. The reason He took manna up on the menu is because He has prepared you for such a time as this. Not to give you provision, but to give you prosperity. Not to give you just enough, but to cause you to overflow. And you will say, how? When the Spirit of God will come upon you and the power of the Most High God will overshadow you, that which you will produce will come from God. He will get the glory. And you will say, it is God that gave me power to get well. It is God that opened the floodgates of heaven. It was God who showed me the way when there was no way. When I was on the bottom and I thought I won't make it. I just wanted men in the back, but God had milk and honey for me. Come on, somebody, give that some praise.
depression. These shoulders are not for anxiety. These shoulders are not for overthinking. These shoulders are not for nightmares. These shoulders are not for complaining. These shoulders is for the presence of God. I'm the carrier of the glory of God. Everywhere I go, God goes. Everywhere I go, power goes. Everywhere I go, anointing goes. Everywhere I go, the Almighty God, Shekinah glory goes with me. I thank God for Moses' rod. I thank God for people's anointing. I thank God for the evangelists, for the pastors, for the apostles. And I also thank God for the Holy Ghost, who is the Son of me. And God did not give me Holy Ghost Junior. And God did not give me Holy Ghost the second. He gave me the same power that raised Christ from the dead. Who is the Son of